Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be opening our last play by Sephora. So if you guys want to see what I got in here, what my thoughts are on all of this, then definitely keep on watching. All right, guys, I want to start off by saying that I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I did not film at all this weekend. I took a little tiny break and been doing nothing but playing video games. And it was nice. It was very, very relaxing. But I want to thank all you guys who came out to my live. I was super nervous. I only struggle going live just because, I don't know, it's just, it's I get really bad anxiety. And I had so much fun, except towards the end. I don't know why, but I guess whenever you stream or go live on YouTube, it... It's like on a live platform. I don't really know how it works, but it allows like creepers to come in and creepers kept coming in and they say really weird things. Most of the times I don't see it. Thank God I have some amazing moderators, Stephanie and Corey, but they do pop up from time to time and it really creeps me out. Like it really creeps me out. So usually when I start seeing that happening, I'm like, all right, it's time to go. But <laughs> I seriously want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming out. I had so much fun and I definitely will go live again soon. But for today's video, guys, we're going to be unboxing our last Play by Sephora. Now, I've been unboxing this, I, I want to say, for a year now. At least a year now I've been unboxing this. And I really do love my Play by Sephora. I think it is such an amazing $10 subscription box. I've been in love with it for so long. It's how I found my NARS Star Woman Liquid Lip. It's how I found my Washu Shiseido Mega Clear Hydrating Gel. That's my absolute favorite. I wear it every single day. It's how I found some really cool gems that I never would have been introduced to if it wasn't for this box. So I got an email last week that says, as a Play subscriber, you discovered new favorites, learned a few tips and tricks, and offered us a lot of helpful feedback. I mean, I think I did because I bitched about the plastic bag and losing the points for so freaking long. But it says we've heard you and that's why we decided to end play to make some room for something even better. April will be the final box you receive and you'll not be charged again. Over the past six months, we've been behind the scenes making plans for an exciting new release. This year, Sephora will introduce three types of sample sets under our Sephora Favorites line. You'll still be able to discover new brands and products, but you'll choose the sets you like the most. There will be something for everybody all at an amazing value. We'll think you'll love what we have planned. First up is a new Lux box launching at the end of April. So obviously I'll definitely sign up for that because I I actually really, I keep checking my teeth. I really love subscription boxes. It's how I get introduced to new different brands. And so they're gonna be rolling out with, this, with the Lux box. I'm assuming it's $25. They always had it available on their website. They always had like different tiers and it always said like a Lux box for $25. You get deluxe sample size of luxury items, but it was never ever available. So I'm assuming that's what this is gonna transition to. It would be like a really cool, like $25 a month. Hopefully it's full size products because if it's only sample size products, I'm gonna be like, what the hell? I'm not gonna spend $25 on sample size products but I kind of do in a lot of boxes. Anyway, um, I am sad to see this go, but I really hope something better comes out of it. That's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully it'd be something really cool and we get to see stuff like we've been seeing already. Maybe they'll start throwing full-size products in there. If they start throwing full-size products in there, they're really gonna give BoxyCharm and Ipsy run for the money, especially if they put stuff that like people would generally buy at Sephora. That'd be sick. So let's dive into this last box. Oh, I'm so sad to see it go. All right, so oh, it has a little thank you card. For the past three years, you've, you've given play ex exclamation point. Your enthusiasm helped make the program something truly special and we couldn't have done it without you. As a thank you for being a subscriber for over three years. Oh, I've been doing this for three years now? Uh, we've included an extra travel size sample in this box. Play may be ending, but Sephora has so much more in store for you. Keep an eye out for news of something more exciting soon. Hashtag XOXO, the play team. All right, that's cool. All right, so they're going to give you like little graduation stuff in here, and it's going to be called Class of 2020. All right, so one of the first things they threw in here is some really cool stickers. Now, Jeffree Star put stickers in his mystery box, and I know a lot of people had issues with it. I was one of them just because... 
it was considered an item when he had originally said that was supposed to be like a cosmetics item. It turned out to be stickers. So that was like the Christmas one, but for Valentine's one, they made sure not to do that. But I actually don't mind getting stickers now. I've actually utilized the stickers. Me and Corey have like little extra hard drives when it comes to our PlayStation. So we're able to distinguish who's is who by putting stickers on it. So it's actually pretty helpful. And these are cute, right or die. Those are so cute. All right, and then as always guys, it does come with a little plastic makeup bag. I do not like the plastic makeup bag because I find it that it's not biodegradable but I'm excited to see this part go. I'm hoping that when they do roll out with their Lux box, this is something they can completely get rid of or maybe they'll transition and just put it just the items in just the box or maybe they'll just put it into like a really cool makeup bag kind of like ipsy does but hopefully it's a pretty makeup bag because ipsy makes some really ugly makeup bags <laughs> all right so i see we've got a few items in here one of the first items we have is from amica right here and this is a bonus item this is the soul food this is the Soul Food Nourishing Mask. Never forget, mask, masking isn't just for your face. This deep conditioning treatment restores and repairs dry and damaged hair. I wouldn't say I have dry or damaged hair, but I do I do dye my hair. Like I get my hair done usually every three to four months. Um, so this would be something that's really good. It's gonna keep it hydrated. And I really do like Amica. They make some amazing stuff. Um, you can actually, if anyone wants to know, I just wanna throw this out here. If you guys go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, you guys can find full-size bottles of Amica products there, especially at uh, Marshalls. Yeah, Marshalls, yeah. Yeah, especially at Marshalls, you guys can find, I find literally all of Amica products over at Marshalls for $7 compared to the typical price. So that's something I would definitely wanna take note of. I buy a lot of my purple shampoo at Marshalls cause like I'll find my Jocko there as well. Like the full size bottles for $7 compared to like the $26 that it is at Ulta. So if you guys ever wanna like look for really good shampoo products that you may find that's high end, definitely check out your local Marshalls or like TJ Maxx cause you might find exactly what you're looking for at a really discounted rate. Definitely take note of that. Like that's something like I, I literally always look for. All right, the next product is from Laneige. Laneige? Laneige. Laneige. I don't know. This is an expensive brand because I see Paige talk about it all the time. And I'm like, oh God, I'd never get it because it's so expensive. But this is a water sleeping mask. Ooh, it's a water sleeping mask. See, it's not, it's not in here. Is this my extra item? I think this is my extra item right here because there's no information about this product at all in the little pamphlets. So special care water sleeping mask. Um, ew, the, the, the directions are so tiny. Do not use on wounds or affected areas. Okay. Apply evenly across face, leave treatment overnight and rinse off in the morning. Use once or twice a week. But like, it's just for all skin types. Okay, well, how do you smell? Ooh, this is an expensive brand they put in here. Laneige, Laneige. Paige, how do you say it? <laughs> and, oh, I like how they actually have the directions written right here too. That's smart. Ooh, it smells really nice. It smells very uh, fresh. And it definitely goes on just like a really soft, smooth base. Very fresh smelling. Oh, this is my little extra item in here. It's my little extra item in here. That's exciting. Okay, cool. That's a little thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, you're welcome. The next item is from Believe. This is the Moisturizing Eye Balm. This is our Pace de Resistance Eye Product. It's a lightweight cream that delivers a burst of moisture and appearances and boosts skin's appearances. Alexis, <laughs> and a boost, <sighs> and boosts the appearance of skin's Electricity, elasticity, elasticity, and boosts the skin's elasticity. I can't say that word without twisting it. And boosts the skin's elasticity. Elast. How do you say that word? How do you say elasticity? I can't say it right. Elasticity. Am I saying it right? Yeah, like elasticity. Elasticity. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Elasticity. Oh, I am saying it right. Okay. Elasticity. Look, I said that right, elasticity. <laughs> I feel like I said that word wrong. Okay, so it boosts the appearance of skin's elasticity for 26 hours. It says, get the ingredients, tiger grass, Sioux skin, and comfrey leaf detoxifies skin. Ooh, a moisturizing eye balm, intense moisturizer, up to 26 hours. Well, shit. Ah! Look who didn't get anything on her nose this time. I've been trying really hard. Oh, that, that little point right there is testing me. I'm trying to like smell it from away so I don't get anything like, I don't get anything on my face. 
It smells exactly like the Laneige, Laneige product, but I'm definitely down to try out any eye cream, especially since I'm really getting some bad crow street right there in the corner. Y'all see that? Mm, crow's feet. So I'm excited to give this a try. I like trying different, different, I like trying different skincare products. That's why I really do like this play by Sephora because it really does give you great skincare products to try. Even though they are sample sizes, it's enough for you to really try out. Is this for me? Is this not for me? And so I really like that. And so, oh, this is sad to see it go. I'm actually sad about this. All right, the next product is from Origins. Ooh, this is Origins Dr. Andrew Well of Organs Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilient Smoothing Treatment Lotion. This light calming lotion uses a mushroom infused formula to reduce the look of redness, AKA help your skin chill out. Well, this is actually a repeat item. I've actually gotten this already in this box before and I've tried it out and it definitely has like soothed my skin. Um, this is supposed to be a lotion though. This does not look like a lotion. <gasps> a lotion. <gasps> That's supposed to be a lotion. Um, <laughs> this is not a lotion. It's just water. Okay. And that poured all over my desk. And all over my stickers. Well, shit, damn it. Why'd you just pour out like that? It says it's a lotion. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, note to self guys, if you guys get this box, do not open this unless you're over a sink. This is just pure water that just pours out and it's like all over my hand. Okay, well that definitely has like a lemon zest feel to it. It um, has Shake well, pat on clean skin with cotton pad or fingertip. Oh, I should probably read the directions first. Okay, first off, when it says lotion, it's gonna trip me out because I thought it was a lotion and um, I uh, messed that one up badly. I have gotten this before, but I didn't think it was gonna be like a water pour out. All right, well, um, I really do like Origins products. Actually, I used Origins for so many years before I slowly started switching over to my Dollar Beauty, but I've been getting different skincare products right now. So what I'm trying out right now is the LMS Superfood Foam cleanser that we got in our BoxyCharm box. I've really been trying that one out and I really, really like it so far. So I'll give that a go, but I really do like Origins products. I have a lot of Origins products that are in my bathroom just because Origins I've used for years, for years, for years. All right, the next product is from, oh my God, <laughs> that's funny. It's from Benefit Cosmetics. This is the Their Real Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara in Black. This ultra creamy mascara delivers buildable volume and length that lasts up for 24 hours. That's a formula that's worth your time. Well, I actually have the full size of this. I got it in my PR box that I got from Benefit Club Pink. So I haven't tried this out but I'm gonna definitely give this a go. Let's just look at the bristles. Ooh, bitch, that's exactly what I like. Ooh, see those little spikes? Ooh, those are the type of bristles that I can go for. I feel like they get into the nitty gritty and I feel like they really help to lengthen and lift into the lashes. There's some um, mascaras out there that are so thick and chunky that I just feel like all they do is they just get on my lid, they just push my lashes together and I just, I'm not a fan of those. So I like lashes like this or like, I mean, I like bristles like this. So this would be something I'm definitely gonna give it a try because if I like this, I'll keep that full size. If not, I'll put that full size in a giveaway box. The next product is from, uh, Shiseido, one of my favorite skincare brands. This is the Urban Free Oil Free Wait, this is the Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector Broad Spectrum SPF 42 for face. This is a sunscreen? Is this a sunscreen? Protecting your skin until the very end, this ultralight sunscreen doubles as a primer, absorbing extra sebum and delivering a matte finish. Well, a matte finish, well, I'll be. Ooh, I really like this brand. Again, you guys actually can find this brand a lot at TJ Maxx. Do you smell like a tourist? Ooh, just a little bit. You don't smell like a tourist. I love the smell of sunblock. I think sunblock smells so freaking good. It just reminds me of the times I go to the beach and the water parks. I miss it so much. And uh, so whenever tourists put it on in the restaurant, I'm, I'm kind of creepy. I'm always like <sighs> behind them because I think it just smells so, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, um, well, I just think, sorry. I think that usually they smell so good because I just really like that smell. Um, this is something I'm definitely gonna give it a try. I'm not gonna give it a try under makeup just because I find that even though it says it's oil-free and it's matte, I find that whenever I use anything that has SPF in it, I know you're supposed to put F SPF on your face. I know that you're supposed to do it, I get it. 
but I just find that it really makes my face super oily and super greasy. So it's really hard for me to use products that have SPF in it just because I know how greasy my face is gonna get. I'm already oily as it is. I'm already combating the oiliness with everything that I can, with hydrating moisturizers, with hydrating primers, with mattifying foundations, with mattifying setting powders. I'm trying everything I can to combat the oiliness as best as possible. So whenever I use anything with SPS, oh, it's like I'm just saying fuck you to all the hard work that I do because it just makes me super oily. So I'm definitely gonna give this a try because I know that I'm gonna be, I go, I go out um, walking with my dog every single day and normally I don't wear makeup. So I'm gonna give this a try to see how well it does and hopefully it, you know, holds back the sunscreen for, hopefully it holds back a little bit of the UV rays and I don't get burned on my face, but one that I will wear under makeup, not necessarily. I didn't know they make sunblock though. That's actually pretty legit, pretty cool. All right, and the last product is from Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This is award winning. We had to set you up with this must have spray before we go. It's actually lowered the temperatures. It actually lowers the temperature of your makeup to help it stay in place and look vibrant for up to 16 hours. How do you do that? Temperature control technology? Well, let's find out. Oh, that's a little itty bitty. Mm, yes, I can feel my temperature lowering right now. I actually really do like the setting spray. I'm not gonna lie. I think this is a this is a must-have setting spray. I use it literally all the time. If I'm not using this, I use my Morphe peach setting spray, or I also use my Morphe mattifying setting spray. But before that, I've only ever used the all-nighter one. So I think that's a really good setting spray. So I'm really glad I put that in here. Um, they actually only put in one makeup item, and the rest were all skincare and hair care products. So I'm surprised they wanted to leave it like at this, where they just walk away without putting, I don't know, like a full range of makeup products in here. Here, but do I like this box? I do, because I'm really excited to give this Laneige, Laneige, whatever you want to call it, this expensive ass brand. Ooh, I have butthole lips, gross. <laughs> I mean, Anyway, I'm excited to give this a try. I've never tried this brand before because I find it too expensive for my taste. I know that Paige loves it. I know that um, a lot of people out there love this. It's just it's expensive and so I have a hard time spending the money on it, but I'm excited to give this a try. I really am excited to give this hair mask a try along with this belief one right here. Uh, this one right here I already have and I guess I'll, I'll finally start to mess with it even though I just poured half of it onto my desk. And then I'm excited to try out these before I actually try out the real one because you know, if I like this one, I'll keep the full size. If not, I'm just gonna put that in a giveaway box for you guys. So overall, I really am happy about this box. I am and I'm really sad to see it go. I really am because I really do like my play by Sephora. It's definitely introduced me some, to some really cool brands and it, it's sad to see it go, but I really hope they replace it with something even better. But I'm so glad that I invested into this as long as I have and I'm so glad you guys have watched these videos. I really like my play by Sephora. I just hope that in their next one, I would be I so cool if in the next box, they actually bring back the play points. I loved my play points. It's how I built my points up so fast because every month you just got 50 points extra. You could literally buy something for $12 and you get 50 points extra on top of that. So instead of getting $12 or 12 points, you'd actually get 62 points. Like how insane is that? Like you could build up points so quickly and it's how I build up some of my points and they took it away, but Hopefully what they're bringing up next will be something even better. We'll find out at the end of this month what it is. So uh, yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I'm here almost every single day. Also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channel. It is R for the Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures with amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! freaking with mattifying with mattifying it's from benefit cosmetic it's from benefit cosmetic under our favorite oh my god that she likes most but you'll choose the set you like most there will be something for everybody at oh my god i suck at reading lux sample samples if they start falling full full five if they start <laughs> seven full-size item or full-size yeah right